The University of Pittsburgh's Center for Vaccine Research is on a very short list. It is one of the few elite facilities in the country to receive samples of the coronavirus. Now they are hard at work trying to safely and quickly develop a vaccine. Rick Dayton takes us inside the lab to explain the work being done there. Two weeks ago, coronavirus, COVID-19, arrived in Pittsburgh. Two tiny vials the size of these contain roughly 50 million viruses. Now researchers at the Centers for Vaccine Research are growing it. Well, it's significant in the sense that that's the start of the process by which we are able to determine how to stop growing it. Dr. Paul Dupre is the center's director. Uh, we're a local community and we're, our responsibility is to explain to individuals that we will work with this virus safely. We have all of the facilities as you've seen today. This facility at the University of Pittsburgh is authorized to handle biological safety levels one, two, and three. The higher the number, the more dangerous the disease and the more precautions it must be taken. It's more than wearing gloves and working under specialized air filtration devices. Yep. And then she'll move that bottom one up and down so that you can see the cells moving. Researchers here work with coronavirus and SARS and MERS, among others. They wear full protective suits. The air they breathe comes from self contained breathing apparatus. For those who work in the shadows of Pittsburgh research giants like Jonas Salk, these standards are second nature. We were able to speak with one of them via walkie talkie. Every day, as you suggested, builds on what happened the day before. And um, if we can see a direct correlation with that being the case, then we feel successful. The world is watching, yet they know their work must be done safely. Risk is negligible. And I didn't say zero. I said negligible. Is that possible? That is absolutely essential. As the number of coronavirus cases grows, Dupre says they must remain vigilant in doing good science. Fast is not always good, and we can never compromise safety on the back of wanting to get things done fast because we've promised people something which is not realistic. And the reality is they may be facing a long road. There are only two viruses that have been eradicated both of which took many, many years. We're in the starting blocks, um, and the gun has been fired for sure. The gun was fired 31st of December 2019. The race against the clock is on their mind too, and time is of the essence as they work to piece together the coronavirus puzzle. In Oakland, Rick Dayton, KDKA News.